to the roads. If you can stay home today, you definitely should take a look at road conditions across the state. You can see most roads up north are completely covered. It's a little better in the metro, but all those purple exclamation points, those represent crashes or spin outs. Our Mariel Mose has been keeping an eye on the road conditions from Shoreview. Mariel, what are you seeing out there? Well, Shayla, first, how gorgeous is this backdrop behind me here? I'm on Arbogast Street here in Shoreview, and this is the kind of beauty you're seeing all over the metro today. That snow is landing perfectly on every tree branch, but it's wet and heavy, so it's also causing some issues, too. It's landing on power lines, weighing them down, and we checked in with XL Energy today, and they said they have crews responding to outages both in Minnesota, in the Shoreview area specifically, as well as in uh, Wisconsin. But they say they have plenty of crews on standby, <clears throat> excuse me, to respond to these outages throughout the day. We've also seen a lot of, <coughs> excuse me, I've seen a lot of people enjoying the snow as well, bicycling in it, which is wild to me. We checked in with some drivers who are uh, checking in on the road conditions for us, as well as some people being very neighborly in Columbia Heights that are using a snow blower to blow their entire driveway for their block. Highways are wet, so your windshields, wipers are going all the time and stuff, but it's fine. Out there, it's a side road, you know, you got to stop, everything's froze right, you know, at the stop sign and stuff, so, and then people, you know, they take a half hour to get going, you know, it's like, come on, people, move, will ya? <laughs> you? know, I understand they're stuck, but um, otherwise, it's not that bad out there. Uh, well, my wife and I try to help out the neighbors on both sides of us every year. Um, you know, we're in our 30s, so it's a lot easier for us to get outside and move around than it is for the elderly folks. You got to love it. That's Minnesota nice for sure. And a classic winter workout is shoveling snow this time of year. Uh, you can see the street behind me here is still covered in snow, untouched by a plow. You're going to see that on a lot of side streets still. And you got to be careful because underneath this powdery snow is ice. It's very slick, so definitely take it slow on those side streets. But the interstate, at least to get here from Minneapolis, was pretty clear. Shayla? All right, all good to know. Thank you so much, Marielle. Snowplow drivers were prepped and ready for all of this snow. And in the Twin Cities Metro, we work 12 hour shifts to keep plows on the roads 24 hours a day, and that'll continue until our roads are back in the clear. And then we'll probably have some cleanup too. MnDOT deploys 400 drivers and 200 plows in the metro. Statewide, there are 800 plows at work. This was a tricky storm because of the recent rain. Roads cannot be pre-treated. People who oversee plow operations say you can do your part to help by staying back and not driving too close to plows. Let's head up to the North Shore where snowfall hit nearly 30 inches and in counting in some areas. Schools in Duluth are closed today for the second day in a row. The Duluth News Tribune reports even the Postal Service is canceling mail deliveries. Spirit Mountain also stayed closed this morning. They shut down yesterday because the heavy, wet snow made the lifts unusable. We know this storm is not done yet, and our next weather team is closely watching conditions around the state. Stay with us for the latest impacts on WCCO4 News and streaming on CBS News Minnesota.